Yep, go ahead. You love Sorry. Car yep. If you come to our parking garage we <laughs> in the mornings <laughs> when you see where we park, we, we kind of call it um, Murderer's Row. Yep. Yeah, well, which, by the way, this is a shared parking garage. Because uh, right. our buildings are right next to each other. Uh, it's not quite fair. Uh, we thought we were doing pretty good, and then you guys moved in. and. Uh... Well, you guys have all the warthogs lined up uh, you know. the, in the parking lot. That's true. It's just uh, just the way it is, the way Fort San Halo rolls. Yeah, one, one of the uh, is we think that uh, um, I especially um, have had the, the privilege of having I think about 60 car cars that I've owned in my real in real life mm -hmm. in the game. Wow. Nice. So like the first car that I ever owned is one of the cars that hasn't made the game. Okay. But the second car that I owned, which was a... Um, Sounds like a feature request. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> I think you got the pull for that, team. <laughs> was in Forza 2. The, um, it was actually the cover car. Okay. The, the 350Z. Yeah. You know, so... Classic um, orange. It's one of those things. This, this thing, uh, this 2018... Mustang is a beast. Um, it does 460 horsepower, it's yep. 420 at the wheels. Um, you can see um, this one in the game looks a little different than the one on the couch. The yep. great thing is, as soon as I got this thing in the game, yep. I started tooling around on it to see what types of exterior modifications I or when I when I got it. So it was like a preview, because you ordered the car and it was a while before you had the real thing. Yes, right? I, ordered the, I ordered the car, um, I think it was like in October, and it. It took, I didn't get the car until January. Okay. You know, which was excruciating <laughs> for a guy like me who, uh, you know, I daily went, you know, to the web to, I'm on the phone, I'm calling the dealer, I'm like, yeah. hey, any news, any news? But, um, you know, for people like, like us, like yourself, that love these cars, yeah. 450 cars is a way for us to, to try to tag the bases for people, you know, on a, on a, a number of different axes. You know, we always try to make the car list make sense for the game. Yep. But we're always trying to do something interesting. When you see the cars that we show you today, you'll, you'll see what I mean by trying to make that car list. There's just so much breadth and depth that, for, that Playground has put into the car list here. Um, someone, Swooshian, I think, in chat was saying how good this engine sounds. Maybe give him some, give him a few revs to really so, uh, soak it so in. So one of the things um, that I did to my my real car uh -huh. is I added what um, Ford is calling the active exhaust. So when you start the car, there are four different modes. There's a quiet mode. Okay. <laughs> if you can call it quiet. <laughs> yeah. It's Mustang a, quiet. It's relative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is there is a normal mode, which is the way you would normally hear the car if you didn't, I, I, I guess, yep. have the GT um, package. There's a sport mode, and then there's um, the way I drive the car. Track and drag mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time you hear the car, it brings a smile to your face. So, you know, in the morning when you're getting up and going to work, um, depending on the traffic, <laughs> it puts you in a certain mood. And but, it wakes uh, everybody your, up. Yeah, but on, your way, but on your way home, when you get in this car and you hear that sound, it, it, it just sounds so good every time. I just love seeing the every tail lights. Time. Tail lights like look great. super, super good. My dad had a 65, a Caspian oh. Blue 65. Mustang. Uh, when I was super little, my brother ended up owning a Mustang, one of the newer models. And uh, well, let's. So uh, you know it. what I want to see, T. Before we move on to the next car, I want to see the in interior of this Mustang. Let's let's go. I want to do. I want to see the interior because I bet it's pretty. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if you notice, if you look at the gauge closely, there's a 12-inch digital gauge in this car. Wow. So if you've got the premium package, you know you can get the normal. Um, uh, Speedometer, yeah. speedometer looks looks awesome. so yeah. but if you opted for this package, <laughs> yeah. not only do you get the 12 inch digital gauge, but you can configure this. Like you see right now that the trim and all the highlights are in red, uh -huh. and then all the the indicators are in blue. You can go in and change those to whatever color you want. Like um, if you if I go in and start my car, everything is in red. In real life. In real life. In real life. Yeah, yeah. In, uh, just want to be clear. Just want to be clear about that. <laughs> We're not announcing life. that feature <laughs> in Forza Horizon 4. That is correct. But thank a great you, feature in real life. Thank you for that, Brian. Yes. But, yeah, it's a great feature in real life. But, you know, like, the, the, the nice bit is the way the, the uh, tachometer and the accelerator perform mm -hmm. in real life, they it performs the same way in our game. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I hate to uh, I hate to say let's move on because this car looks awesome and I know you it's 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 close to your heart. But we've got some others to show off. The next one I want to show off is couldn't be more different from the the Ford Mustang. Uh, it's definitely a monster, but it's it a different is, kind of monster. It is a different kind of monster. So um, this is this car we're going to go to next. This vehicle we're going to go to next. It actually appears in the 
Motorsport 4, sorry, the Forza Horizon 4 commercial that we're going to air in just a bit. If you missed that commercial, you'll be able to see it here on the show. Uh, but this is a beast of a different nature. This is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog U5023. I don't know what any <laughs> of those... This is closer to the one in our game. <laughs> the, this <laughs> is way closer to like a transport vehicle. Yeah, the, the Unihog. <laughs> the Unihog, we were, that's we right. Were, we were trying to you know, say earlier. We accidentally said that, but <laughs> this thing is a beast in every, in every way. Yeah, so... Um, the five, the, the five zero three design, the the, the five zero two three designation. Yes. I think the difference is um, the off road ability of, of the vehicle. Okay. So you can you can buy one that's basically like an on road transport, or you can buy an off road flavor. Okay. And because uh, you know of Horizon's off road nature, <laughs> this we feels opted to put the off road flavor of the like vehicle in the game. Scarlet Pimple says, throw a few <laughs> POP fifties in the back of that thing. <laughs> 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 you could fit a lot of something in the back of there. That's for sure. We'd throw like a dozen out in front and be like Santa's sleigh. <laughs> That's right. So not the fastest. Uh, oh, nice! You can get the bed. Yes, you I can. I love that. You know, so um, as with all Forza games, we have Forza Vista. Yep. Um, that affords us. It allows us to do some some cool things. We go in and when we're um, not only just trying to find the car, uh -huh. we're trying to find all the options for the car that makes sense. Right. Um, as you know, we brought a lot of new, you know, wide body kits. This is one of the things that we've been trying to double down on and giving the, the players more options of like kitting the car out the way yep. they'd like to. I, I actually like to, to roll this thing without, without the, the kit. Well, if nothing else, it helps you see because when you're rolling with the top on, you keep yeah. you can, the, the thing is so big and wide we were looking at it before the show began, you can barely see ahead of you. <laughs> yes. So it's like it reminds me of the Mercedes race truck yes. in, in motorsport yep. where you have to race that thing in cockpit because otherwise you're going to have trouble yep. seeing ahead of you. Yeah, and Brian has so much money, I'm going to... I got so much money. I'm going to opt Oh, you mean in the game? In the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and in real yeah, life. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, I'm going to opt to spend a little bit of it in the game. Okay, so what are we, we buying then? Um, I just brought that option so we can drive oh, okay. this thing with, yeah. with the canopy off. Perfect. Well, let's get this thing on the road. Now, it's like it enables uh, the outside view. Again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's the outside Re view enabler. the functionality. <laughs> so a good place to be also in cockpit in this beast. Now, a stark contrast from the Ford Mustang. We're not going to be going 170 miles per hour in this thing. I just love the stark contrast in visuals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's well. right. It's like it's yeah, party this, time. This is what they brought in to set the tournament. Uh, that's right. To set the the festival. They knocked in all the trees. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but T, you were saying uh, I think last week this thing just clears path clears paths wherever it rolls. Yeah, you know it's like there's the tarmac that we all love, especially you know people like you know. Our Ford Sport, our Ford Motorsport crowd, mm -hmm. you know, the racers out there. Um, but then there's the Horizon crowd. <laughs> it's that, absurd. <laughs> hey, the, the shortest, the shortest distance <laughs> between two points That's is right. a straight line. We're, we're different kinds of speed here. <laughs> you know, so if you're looking to do some what we call in the game landscaping, uh -huh. this is the car for you. Um, it's it's rare that anything besides the biggest trees that we have oh, on the map. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh this. you might Let's roll it. Go. Oh, and there's an example of it. <laughs> Let's okay. try that again. <laughs> you know how many people it would take to turn that thing back over? <laughs> That'd be crazy. 75 peel, peel, peel 50s. <laughs> you know, really. The other side. The other side. That's okay. Oh, there it is. In our game, you just All hold right. X to flip. That's right. So, you got a flip button. Third time's a charm. Now, this thing may, is not so adept going downhills, but you were saying great climber. It climbs. Yeah. You know, and it also does things like plow through walls. Yep. And Walls are just a suggestion. And planters. Nice. And oh. not trees. Oh, not, not that tree, at least. Some other trees. But fences. Actually, it's a good point bringing up trees because um, trees are, I don't want to say they behave differently, but you've sort of opened up the world with regard to trees yes. in Forza Horizon 4. Tell me about that. Yeah, too. so we, we um, you know, we've, we've, all, we've always had this awful nature in all the games with that comes a little bit of uh, um, a sticking point with our communities. We are always trying to take feedback community, you know, assess where we can improve things. One of the things we knew we needed to do better with Horizon 4 was, was what we call the, the tree language. Mm. So, you know, you can think of a as car versus. So if, if there's a car um, that you feel like should win versus a tree, <laughs> it does. Right. In this case, in, in the game. perfect example. In the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, please drive safely. <laughs> uh, we're not suggesting you go out and play this game in real life. <laughs> right. But if you, if you glance at a tree and you feel like that you're probably not going to win in the vehicle that you're in, 
that is exactly how the language works in the game. So the, the, if you should win, you, you generally win. So we've done a much better job of that, um, which makes it easy to, easier to, to frolic. And, you I know. feel like the visual differentiation alone, too, yes. uh, is, is really good. Yeah, you should be able to tell the difference between the, car, the trees you can get through and the trees you can't yes. get through. Which especially helps like at high speed. You know, like, like here's a prime example. I, I won that one. Uh, it's like, I'm hearing from the folks that they want to see the Peel P P50. I think that's a barn find. Uh, I, I think the Peel is actually a barn. A very find. small a barn, barn find. Yeah, it's a tiny <laughs> barn. Very small barn. So we may not be able to get to that, but rest assured the Peel P50 is in the game. I do say we switch cars. Let's and, switch cars. Uh, let's try something else. Again, we're going 180 degrees in the in a different direction. Yes. Um, this is a, a, a car that isn't new. What we've seen so far, T, is we've seen new to Forza cars. Yes. We've seen cars, uh, the Ford Mustang, the 2018 Ford Mustang, of course, new to Forza. The Unimog, of course, new to Forza. Now we're going to actually check out a car that, uh, oh, should we, should we do the Bugatti or should we do Volvo next? I actually think we should do the Volvo Let's next. do the Volvo next because this is like a, a midpoint between the Unimog and the Mustang, right? It's like the Unimog yeah. achieving its final form. <laughs> That's right. It's like, it's like third stage <laughs> yeah, it's Unimog. Um, because we're going to end up in the Bugatti because we want to uh, we want to show that off last. The Volvo Iron Knight, the 2016 Volvo Iron Knight. I've never seen anything like this. I think it's. Uh, I think this this car is, does something like uh, 2,400 horsepower. Oh, is that all? Yeah. yeah. 2,400 horsepower. Um, this car behind us that's so near and dear uh, to my heart is rumored to do sub four zero to sixties. You see a car this big and this fast. It's I'm telling you, I'm, I'm that is, like, it's the same designers that did like the LaFerrari or the Senna. Like if you just put like a LMP cockpit on there instead, It'd be hard. Yeah. You'd be hard <laughs> yeah. pressed to, to, to tell the, the the difference. Yeah, it's just like a story high. Otherwise, it's an LMP <laughs> car. It's, it's basically true. the difference. I love yes. that exposed. A little engine. bit of a drag coefficient. Yeah, yeah. the twenty four hundred marker is a call out for the horsepower. That, so. That'll do it. But uh, this thing will do zero to sixty in four point six seconds. Wow. I just I just try to imagine a thing this big, like imagine a bus, a cru a, a, a cruiser style bus coming up on you that fast. Yeah. Like, you probably get out of its way. Let's drive this thing. Let's drive it. So uh, I, I was got to know that we should go into solo mode so we don't see that that network. Mm, uh, yes. Um, this thing's big. It's heavy. It's kind of like the Unimog in that nothing's going to really stop it in a straight line. But you imagine this thing, it's meant for... I guess people race this thing? Yes. I feel like the 2400 is like the number of sheep that have been traumatized <laughs> by this thing in Going the game. Cockpit. There you go. Look at that cockpit. Yeah. Look at the, I don't know what half those instruments do. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Crucian, cru, I yes. would, that's like s Swedish for I fast. just assume it's the opposite of off. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I think Context I, clues I over think there. I just passed the drag strip, so I'm gonna back up here. That's right, because we do have drag strips. And not just drag strips, but we got lanes. In Forza. Playground has done a great job. You know, people wanna go to these long straights. They want to go to the airports. Well, it's they a white night. It has to joust. It's got, <laughs> it, only right. go, it only goes like, you know, you compete in one direction as a, as a night. But we've all been there going to the airport to drag race, and now Playgrounds built us oh. lanes to oh. go in. I love that. Oh, as you can see. <laughs> Breaking this maybe not absurd. top of the priority list for this. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more nimble than the Unimog. But that's not saying much. Yeah. <laughs> this but thing's I, meant to go straight. But it might be something that you consider. You know, when you go so in, you pick cars for racing. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, this 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 beast is going to hold its own with quite a, a few cars on the car list. So. I, I'm seeing some requests. And there's that. Yeah, and it could knock anything out <laughs> of its way. I'm seeing some requests oh. for uh, the VW bus. Want to see the VW the game? Can we get that, maybe? Let's go look at it. Let's go see. So, oh, it's so good. So we're going to spend some time with some cars that you guys want to see. Remember, we've still got the Halo Showcase coming up at the very end of the show. You guys are going to see that Halo Showcase event. We're going to drive it for you. Uh, spoiler warning, just yep, so you know. It's true. It's, there's spoilers there, but uh, if you want to see it, it'll be here at the end of the show. I think we're going to have a little competition, Jeff. I, I think that is the rumor. That is the rumor. They've been, they've been trying to pit us against each other yeah, the they, whole time. That's right. Yes. They're trying to make it combative. Yes. Just, We're friends just, here. Jeff and, I, Jeff I, and I so. are friends. Yeah. That's right. <laughs>
for now. For now. <laughs> Who knows what will happen at the end we'll of the show. I guess we'll see it at the end we of the show. We may be friends after this. <laughs> Uh, so should, let's go. Let's go to a user requested car, a viewer okay. requested car. They're saying the the VW bus, and uh, if you guys maybe we'll take yeah. a couple other cars if you want to see it. Uh, there it is, Type Two Deluxe. Oh, now awesome. in Forza Horizon Two, this thing was a drag beast. It was. If you got the right tune in there, <laughs> you could you could win drag races in a VW bus. You could. It was, you didn't want to turn left or right, but you could go straight. You want to go straight. Yeah. You go zero to Woodstock. Straight to the zero to Woodstock. As long as you've got a straight shot, you're good. We have a few stock chips. I tend to like Let's red. Do Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, tried to peer over the couch there. So the, <laughs> <laughs> VW is supposedly bringing a new version of this out. You guys have seen that concept, the VW yes. bus concept? Yeah. I hope they do. Well, they what they should do so is like, the, like the rest of the industry yep. is doing and just bring this version out, but electric. Yes. Yeah. I'd be okay I with that. I think Jaguar is doing it. I, you know, some of the old Astons, maybe. It's, you need one of these, but electric. It'd be fun. All right. We loading it up, Forza Vista? Yes, we are. Let's walk yeah. around this. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. John Iwana is uh, crying with joy right now because <laughs> this is one of his favorites. The upgrade hero should just be like a yellow submarine version or something. This is beautiful. Lovely detail. Doesn't um, have curtains in the windows. You know, sometimes they put curtains <laughs> in the windows. It, it doesn't. That's okay. It's an option. It's a VW option. I'm, I'm making mental notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, par, you know, part of the thing. So it's probably missing a whole lot. Of <laughs> our, <laughs> our design team is awesome. So they go in and they track down all these cars. Um, on the one of the things I do is I work with the car team on like how these things look. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm also the king of random quests. Yes. So. One of the things I might do um, when I get back to the studio going forward is is just ask a question about options yeah. for this bus. Well, it brings up a good question. I mean, you got you work with Playground really closely. Of course, you're an art director. Yeah. Um, how does a car list come together uh, in a game like Forza Horizon Four? So you know, it starts at the it starts at the top. So the guys, the the big, the first thing that drives it really is the core design of the game. Mm. So when Ralph and his design team, they go in, they have the idea, they pitch to us, um, they pitch to everyone yeah. at the org. Um, and well, we all get um, on board with what I think in Horizon 4 was a fantastic idea with Seasons. Mm -hmm. um, it starts there. It's like, okay, we're going to do Seasons. It's going to be in you know, beautiful, historic Great Britain. Mm -hmm. What cars make sense? Um, so we have you know, the legacy of the three versions. So we have a nice little stockpile car that, that makes sense, but we're always looking at opportunities to, to stretch, to add things that we haven't had before, like the Iron Knight, right. which, you know, at first glance might go, oh, that doesn't make sense. But then, you know, when you see that we put a drag strip in the festival, a drag strip on the ice when the light, lake freezes, <laughs> a drag strip along the beach mm. in the summer, and Iron Knight becomes something that's like, wow, this thing already has 2,400 horsepower, can I make it lighter right. to see if I can get it faster? I have a question. Which does, stretches out the, does the, the process kind of like does it change when you're selecting cars uh, and working with like you know big manufacturers and stuff? But then when you're working maybe like a race team or a one-off or a privately owned uh, car. Well, you know, the the designers go in, you know, um, and. Um, John, who's regularly on these streams, could speak really well to this. But the designers go in and they try to, they, we try to keep that lens off of it. Yeah. You know, we try to think about, for one, if, is it going to be fun for the, the player? Mm. Like, you know, is, like I'm a fan. Yep. You know what I mean? So I, I like to actually stop myself from playing this game during production because I want to consume it the way yep. a fan would. Yep. And when we're thinking about those types of decisions, the first thing we do is think about the player. It's like, ah, oh, this doesn't make sense. But, you know, um, would the player like it? And then, would I like it? Because I am a player. I am a fan of these games. Yeah. It's like working with guys like you at 343, that's why something like the, the, the Halo Warthog makes so much sense, because it's going to be fun. Yeah. And, you know, that, like, that's the number one rule. One of the core pillars of the Horizon franchise, one of the first things those guys did was build the core pillars, their fun, freedom, and beauty. Those things have come along for the ride in every game. When you're picking cars, is it beautiful? This thing is beautiful. Yep. When you talk about being fans, like we're just as much a fan of you guys, you guys a fan of the, the Warthog and stuff like that. So I think it's yeah. a, 
a perfect example. I'm going to take this on the road. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay. I, I tend to play games this way. Do you know what I mean? Like, take a pause and just talk. <laughs> no, I'm an Start art director. Talking. So, like, yeah, I'm trying to get to, to uh, progression. And it's like, I stop and look. That You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's literally how I play some, the game sometimes. Well, well, let me ask you while we're driving around the VW bus here. Another question, of course, is this game, you know, Playground, they had the idea for seasons. They wanted to bring the game to Britain. That affected the car list as well. Yes. You know, Playground, they, right from the start, they're like, Britain is the perfect place for this game. Yes. And that definitely had influence on the car list. Tell us about that. Yeah, there's, there's so much history. I mean, there's, you know, there's, there are, you know, you guys saw the car list. There's probably some things that you didn't see on the car list that you might see. Um, seasons change everything. Right. So every week the game is going to change. That's going to also bring with it rewards. Yep. So some of the things that you might not have seen on the car list um, might show up in, in week one of series one or in week mm -hmm. three of series one. Um, and uh, there's so much wrist history. Like I'm, I'm such a, I have to kind of quell some of the things that I like because <laughs> I love rally. Right. So, you know, like when, they, when, we're, when we're saying, hey, we're about to do a game in beautiful historic <laughs> Britain, I'm like, oh my God. You know, classic rally. Right. Yes. Just um, makes sense. Yeah. It's like, where's my Colin McRae? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, the, you know, even if you go back to Horizon 3, you can see how that, that game in Australia influenced the cards that showed up on the list. Yeah. Um, we do that every time. It's like, what, what makes sense for the game? What do we think is going to be good for the fans? And then what, you know, the, the most important thing, is it always boils down to, is it going to be fun? I think that's been one of my favorite parts about Horizon as a fan is feeling like each one, it's like uh, listening to different albums. You know, like yeah. each one has its own feel yeah. and its own flavor, and specifically the location has played such a foundational role in that. Yeah, and I mean, and you know, you, even if you if you go in and like kind of like consume that, like from that level, yeah. you, you, can, you can see that the, the UK um, uh, locale, just, you know, the playground team, yeah. those, those guys are in their There's backyard. Like so much intentionality um, to You know, to Ralph, creative details. director at Playground, you know, he's, he's heavily involved in, in uh, the soundtrack. Yeah. And those guys do an amazing job of, of going through and trying to make um, choices on the tracks, you know, that, that makes sense for yeah. not only just the game and the core pillars of the game, but, you know, the, the game that we're making today. Even there are some, I, I think we actually brought in a few new um, radio DJs ah. that, are, that are from Britain. So. Yeah, and if you missed the uh, the announcement on Friday, in addition to the car list, we announced the entire soundtrack for Forza Horizon 4. All the sound, all the songs, all the artists across all of the different uh, radio stations. So uh, I, I know there was a, a, a request for the Renault Alpine. It's not a car I can purchase right now. Uh, let's see, uh, another lots of requests for the Audi R6. And just so you guys know, we are paying attention on we are watching chat on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. Um, we're going to try to get in some of these uh, some of these requests for the cars you want to see. Uh, RS6 is what they were looking for. RS, we got the RS4 I'm, I'm Avant. Partial to that RS5. You like that RS5? Oh, it's so nice. The let's, lines let's on the RS5. Why not? Are so good. No, we're not going to do colors. We're just going to uh, blue. Classic Audi blue, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes, we got infinite money. Let's do this. Yes. Let's get in the RS5. If you want to see the Dodge Demon, uh, we are not going to be able to get all, uh, to all these cars. I know that for a fact, but uh, hopefully you guys are, we'll get to some of them. Yeah. How's the Dodge Demon compared to the Mustang? You, you probably have an opinion on that. You know that Dodge Demon? Wow, you talk about going fast in a straight line? Yeah. Um, holy cow. <laughs> But you know, as a as a guy that also likes to take my car to the track, yeah, uh, it's not the same. Of, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah. Do you do more uh, drag stuff when you go to the track, or more road racing? So uh, I don't. Uh, so, so the first, so that that thing has a line lock in it. Okay. The first thing I did, actually, the second day that I had the car, I found a, a, a garage, an empty garage. I went to the that top so and good. I put on the <laughs> line lock. Yeah. Because you can do you can do a, a burnout to warm the tires. Yes. Yeah. So I didn't drag off the top of the garage, something you would probably do in Horizon. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, it's like we have amazing racetracks really close in in, in greater in the greater Seattle yep. area. There's a place called the Ridge that. Uh, oh, the Ridge is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, lots of the guys that you know the we Pacific work with in the studio well, yeah. are, mm -hmm. are making tours there all the time. And you know, I thought about like if you know if I'm if I'm going to drive 3,000 miles across country, 
And that Dodge Demon is probably like an amazing cruiser. Oh yeah. But like uh, as a guy who likes to drive, and um, as people people who've ridden in the car with me know that uh, you know, I like to drive. Sometimes I like to drive too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the Mustang was absolutely the better choice for me. I cannot so, wait till this comes look out. Look at I'm this. Just, like wash. This I'm is just, incredible. Like, T, T, are we in the Lake District here? Yeah, you're heading towards Lake District. Um, you're you're left the festival. You're heading, I think, towards oh, Broadway. Oh, oh nice! Oh, 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 oh. that's, oh, that's nice. Sorry, Addy. Yeah, this should be somewhat of a familiar run. <laughs> that's this right. Is, oh, you're still in Unimog like... mode. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. This is like the demo, right? Yes. This, this is similar to the this demo. is this is the first drive that we t you take in the demo. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people are curious about the demo. We don't have an announcement on that today. I know a lot of people are asking about that. Yeah, by demo um, we mean no one was curious E3 about demo. E3 show right. floor yeah. demo. Uh, more, to, more to come on the demo. So um, sorry we don't have news on that today, but I know a lot of people are curious. So stay tuned for more info on the demo. Do you, uh, T, I know you were really involved in um, the, the, the world, the creation of the world, the different regions of the map. Um, do you have a particular favorite that you that you most enjoy playing in, or visually, or what have you? Uh, yes, I do. So um, there's an area that you've seen, you know, you've seen glimpses of it in our trailers. If you remember, there's a, a there's, I think it's a bunch of track toys. One of them is a trail cat, and they're doing this huge leap off this giant mm -hmm. mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, we cut away when they land, but if if you stay or spend more time in that area yeah we call it the wetlands okay so it's kind of it's north of the derwent water um ben's team the, the playground our team over there when you see this um it's such an amazing area the thing i like about it is is that there's such a mix of surfaces mm -hmm. so you can be driving around on the road and, and there are areas um on the on the tarmac that because of the subtle some of the areas end up with wash mm. from the water uh, you know, so you're on tarmac, next thing you know, you're driving through a, a puddle and then you're in marshlands and it's just, it, it's like a, a roller coaster ride, Yeah. you know, the whole way. It, it, um, it makes you go through and parse the, the car list. Nice. Um, like some of the, the, some of my favorites on the list are the, like the class five buggies that we have in the game. Oh yeah. Because yeah. they're, they're kind of like jacks of all trades. All yeah. purpose. You, yeah. They can be fast, you know, they land very well, like the suspension model. The modeling. crazy suspension travel. Yeah. 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 And you, and then, you know, the, the story that the car tells when it's on those mixed surfaces, kind of amazing. You know? I have a question. Do you, do you guys have a particular favorite type of activity in the world? That's one of my favorite parts about the game is you have, like, your drift zones and uh -huh. danger signs and speed traps and everything. Do you have, like, particular ones that you seek out first or that you just find yourself going back to? I definitely do. It's all about cross-country. <laughs> I love cross-country events. Whoever designs as a playground, every one of them I love. They're just so... They take such interesting, um, like interpretations of the, the vegetation, the, yes. the the hills, the valleys. They just they're awesome. They do a great job with that. Yes, um, for me, uh, I kind of hinted towards it before. It's the dirt racing thread. Ah, um, oh, oh, yeah, baby, nice. right? And then um, I I also like the drifting. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, one of the cars I owned before I had this Mustang was a, a 2011 Evo oh, 10. It's gonna be in bad. Nice. This probably isn't the right place. It's like for being a, car, a passenger. <laughs> like I watch them like <laughs> All right, well unfortunately moving we, moving the hands. We've got to we got to move on. Um, T and Jeff, thank you so much for being here. Really enjoyed that. Boy, Absolutely. we have only scratched yeah. the surface of only this Only scratched the surface. Yes.